The analog to serial symbol lets you insert analog values into serial strings, which gives you the power to create serial signals dynamically instead of writing them all out ahead of time. The analog to serial symbol uses the speed key ATOS and can also be added to your program by expanding the serial folder under logic symbols and then clicking and dragging the analog to serial symbol over to the detail view. The analog to serial symbol has an expandable number of analog inputs which are converted into serial characters according to the format parameter. The characters are mashed between the expandable serial parameters in the order string 1, analog 1, string 2, analog 2, etc. and then passed to the symbol's output as one long string as the trig input goes high. But putting a 65 decimal on one of these analog input lines won't give you a 65 somewhere in the output. Instead, you'll get the ASCII equivalent of 65, which is the capital letter A, depending on what you put in the format parameter. If you ever need to use one of these symbols, you'll probably want to have an ASCII table handy. There are two things to keep in mind. The output string isn't created until the trig input goes high, and the format 256D is the most commonly used. It translates numbers into their ASCII equivalents. Let's build a quick example program. I'm going to add one other ATOS, two analog scalers with limits, two analog one-shots, and one OR symbol. The two analog scalers will take input from sliders on the X panel, and they'll take the range from 0 to 65535 and scale that down to 0 to 255. The outputs of both scalers will be fed to two analog inputs on both ATOSs, the inputs of the analog one-shots, and two inputs on the X panel as well. The first analog to serial symbol will have the three string parameters over, worked, and logic. And the second will have the three parameters numbers, blank, and things. Both ATOSs will use a format of 256 and their serial outputs will be fed back to the X panel. The analog one shots will both have a pulse time of three ticks and their outputs will be fed into the OR symbol. And then the output of the OR will be fed to both trig inputs on the analog to serial symbols. So that's it, let's compile and upload. Once the sliders are moved around, the serial strings populate. So right now the analog to serial symbol is taking the integer values supplied by the sliders, converting them to ASCII characters, and then mixing them in with the strings that we prescribed in the analog to serial symbol. Some weird things happen in the unprintable characters range of the ASCII chart, namely some numbers and letters appear when they're not supposed to, but from 32 all the way to 126 we see the characters exactly as they appear in the chart. The characters that the numbers represent aren't nearly as important as the fact that this symbol allows you to create strings dynamically. The analog to serial symbol is extremely useful for building command strings for third-party devices. Some equipment will have things like volume controls, and their API will allow you to specify the volume level using serial strings. Instead of manually typing out every single volume level from 0% to 100%, you could use the analog to serial symbol and an analog ramp to generate the command string to be sent to the device. All you'd really need to do from that point is figure out when it's appropriate to pulse that trig input. All right, well that wraps it up for this video. Thank you everyone for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.